everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I just wanted to make a short video. You know, I'm working on my Autumn on the Farm journal. And so I want to show you what's going on with it. Uh, I went to Dollar Tree to look for some uh, leaves and whatever I could find for fall so that I could do the decorating. And I did find these. Look how fun these are. They're orange and peach. And you know we're doing a lot of peach in this one. And then I got this one that's the, the fall colors. So I thought that was great. And then look at these uh, Chanel stems. They're orange and they've got a little bit of uh, ir iridescent to them. So they pick up the, the teal and they pick up pink. And I thought that's going to be fun. So I wanted to show you that. I also wanted to show you the cover. I'm going to come in real close to it so you can see what I did. Uh, this is a shaker dome and I got that on Amazon and I put gold glitter in it. Can you see the gold right there? So when you shake it up then, then it just looks like falling leaves. I thought that was so fun. Okay, and uh, that was the cover picture that I wanted to use. Could not figure out how to make a pocket out of it without covering it all up. But then I came up with this idea. And then I added a chicken. And this is a net bow that says farmhouse. And it says journal up here. It's got a uh, crochet on the bottom. And then there's that velvet piece. And then here's that uh, applique right there. I did... Uh, Sorry, silk for the binding and it's got a, a copper eyelet and this is what the back looks like very plain but you can see how pretty that fabric turned out and it's got lace on the on the binding so let me just uh, go in and I'll show you what I've done so far uh, so far what I've done is I've added the pockets and I've added the trims so that's the inside and so you can see that it's got trims throughout. Look at that one, that's fun. And then I've got the pockets in. And that's all I've done so far. So the next thing to do is to decorate and fill all the pockets and everything. So let me move this out of the way for right now. And I wanted to show you, you know, I showed you how to do the accordion pocket. And I just wanted to show you my accordion pocket full. Because this is all the stuff that I'm going to decorate with. So the first one, I've got words and then those uh, fabric butterflies. And I cut out one of those little leaves off that netting to see what that looked like. And these are all my shapes that I like to put in pockets. So I've got chickens and leaves and pigs and cows and just a window all kinds of things that I, I printed out and then the next one has my tags and my journal cards you can see all of that and then the next one has got some leftover pieces from when I was doing pockets in case I want to make some tags and some more tags that have nothing to do with this kit but I thought I might be able to use them and these are the larger uh, tags that I cut out so everything's just not the same size and then the last one is all the pages that I printed up to put on some pages uh, that are just plain but I want to have a focal point and these are all my my pages for that so that's how I filled up my accordion pocket okay so I thought what we would do today is uh, make a cute little um, tag. Let me move some stuff out of the way so we can get busy. See this picture right here? Um, I don't know. Let's see if I can go in a little closer and still be able to do this. So this picture I found on Pinterest and it's a painting but you know I love little birds and and it just looks like an open a torn piece of paper so I that's my inspiration for the tag so I'll show you the pieces that I selected I've got this uh, jar since we're doing farm style I've got the jar that's going to be the base 
and then I've got a chicken that I want to put through and I thought that um, what I wanted to do is use this for the part that I cut up I mean tear open and see how that goes so let's go ahead and get started on that just want to start it so that I can finish tearing it so I'm just gonna kind of get it started and then there's not going to be any right or wrong way to do this just start tearing Okay, and then see, look, you stick the chicken through. <laughs> okay, so I have one here. I just wanted to show you that so you could see how I did it, but I have one here that I did already. And then that's just so precious. And I inked uh, the paper so that you could see more definition from it. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and just glue this in place. And of course, I'm using Fabri-Tac. That's always my choice of glue. I just love it. It dries fast and it adheres most things. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to put this like this. And I'm thinking, because it's a jar, that we can kind of make it look like it's a canned good. And I've got some of the crochet that I put in the the journal. And I want to put that at the bottom. Just fast and easy. Okay. And I made a little label that says chicken soup. And it's got leaves on it. And I want to put that down here. Let me hold it up and see if I can get it right where I want it. There you go. Okay. And so then the next thing is I want to tie a bow around this part right here. And I've already tied it. And I made it out of sorry silk. And I don't want it to cover up the chicken, but I felt like it needed, I needed a little bit of something there. And then I'm going to use this paper clip right here to uh, put it on a page in the journal. And that kind of blends in with that top right there. So that is, uh, let me go back out a little bit, I'm sorry. So you can see the whole thing at one time. There you go. So there is the tag. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. See you next time. Bye-bye.